Guys, Rogue One is almost here, and it really looks to put the war in Star Wars. Screen Junkies News talked to Gareth Edwards and the cast about what it took to really make this movie darker, grittier, and warrior. Check it out. It feels the most like a war movie, I think, of any Star Wars movie. Was that like important for you guys to really nail that tone and kind of stand out a little bit? I think it's a mixture. I think it's a mixture from, uh, it's it's also a homage to that first film, you know, mm -hmm. to the Genesis. But yeah, definitely, it's a film where you're closer to the characters, where there's an intimacy you, you share with the characters. The proximity to them, it's, it's quite unique for this, the world of, or the universe of Star Wars, you know? Were you able to develop uh, your character's uh, fighting style a bit? Did you have a say in that? It should be part of the responsibility of all actors, mm -hmm. fighting or acting or whatever. You shape the character, you know? I mean, uh, I think they all know my works. They know that I've done this for more than three decades. I think it's just part of the process. I didn't really specifically, oh, he has to fight in a certain way. Everything just kind of came naturally. I fear nothing. All is as the Force wills it. Do you think there's sort of a natural sort of connection from like uh, like the Kung Fu genre to Star Wars with the oh, Force? Of or? course. I mean, you know, even George Lucas said it many times that he, when he formed uh, the Star Wars at the very, very beginning, he was inspired by many uh, Asian culture movies. I mean, look, what is the lightsaber? What are te techniques of all the lightsabers? Those are by Asian martial arts. Yeah, well, Kurosawa films. Right, and... right. How important was it to you and to the ensemble to really make this stand out and give it a tone all its own? It was important to try and do something a bit different. Um, the, you know, the biggest risk making Star Wars is not taking a risk. And so we started off trying all kinds of tricks. And one of the tricks we did was let's get Vietnam photography and war photography from like the Middle East and World War II and we photoshopped rebel helmets over the soldiers and there was something so effective about that imagery that really hit a nerve and you're like oh this is really like emotional and, and real and and when people came to visit you know we would say we'd end up pointing at those images and they would be, always be the ones that went oh my god I want to see that movie and you say yeah yeah and so the studio got really excited about them and they said go make that you know go try and replicate that feel. There were points in it that I, I felt like, you know, it was like watching like a Saving Private Ryan or a Black Hawk Down where I felt really claustrophobic and it was just <laughs> a really visceral experience even oh, just good. watching the footage. Good. The voice of Gareth is, is pretty clear in there, you know. Uh, he loves to grab the camera and jump in and, 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 and kind of run behind the characters and, and look for interesting angles, not necessarily the frontal classical uh, right. approach of a close-up. Here the camera is breathing behind you. It's going to surprise uh, many people. Those who are fans and that have been seeing these films for all these years, uh, I, I think are gonna get something new and, and, uh, and a modern approach. Guys, thanks for watching Screen Junkies News. Do you need more Star Wars fix? Check out these fully armed and operational Screen Junkies News videos.